Ego peak if you're feeling your shots. Take risks, p***y. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> wow. What the f***? <laughs> All right. So, you guys know how when I first started playing Valorant in 2020, I was bronze one. I started bronze one. I know. I know. And then when I started streaming, I was like low gold. I just got absolutely fucked. And then I was hard stuck low gold and I was super competitive. And I really, 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 really wanted to get better at this game. You know, I just wanted to get good. So my chance was like, I want to get out of gold. What? Me? On platform. That's the last one probably long sitting at Molly's. Go, uh, tap it, tap it, tap it. Nice. Nice. I want to get into plat ASAP. Wait, we forgot Spike. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. And then when I got to plat, I just wanted to keep getting better. There's another one. Oh my god. Google Face donated $3. Okay, w streamer one. Legu Ooh, smiley face. Play work? Diamond player? <laughs> Oh okay, my let's god! Go. Better and better and better and better. <gasps> oh, I'm shaking. <laughs> oh my god. And everybody asks me how I got better at the game, and they're always like, How do I get better at this game? And I used to do coaching, but before that, I used to get coached by a lot of people. I used to VOD review, I used to aim train, I used to like bring out the strats, and learn like the fundamentals of the games. When I was doing that, I made a 12 page Google doc of all my notes from all the coaches that I've ever had, all the VOD reviews, like literally every single thing that you could think of on a 12 page doc. And I have not touched it in years. So you know what I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna go through it. I don't even know what's on it. 2021, middle of 2021 was when I made this or last time I touched it actually. I had a preface because I shared this when I was coaching people and then I had general tips and then agents, aim training, warm up, split the agent and then the attack side or defense side and then Haven and Breeze and Bind and Icebox and then more agents. I was once passionate about this game. Now I just, play all right let's let's read it i don't know why i'm nervous to read it all right this doc is a compilation of all the notes i've taken as i've been coached throughout my time from silver to diamond by coaches from diamond to high radiant these tips come from both coaching sessions where general advice was given or basic fundamentals were being explained to me but a lot of it comes from vod reviews that being said a lot of this advice is situational although coaching does accelerate your improvement the hardest thing to do is break old habits take this advice as what it is advice these aren't rules i've tried to limit the amount of don't do this ever as much as i could throughout in certain situations doing what's not advised in this document may be the better play why was i so serious like this this sounds like some type of contract at the end of the day what might have worked for me may not work for you and that's okay the first category general tips number one play slow on offense if they have a lot of util sage slow viper util mollies raid nays etc i don't know why i had to explain that like why did i have to say all the fucking util I also, you also don't have to do that. But I remember back then, people would be like, yeah, let's waste all their util and then they won't have any other util, which is honestly sometimes the play, but I'm too lazy nowadays. Play for picks and bait out their util as much as possible. Is this not the same thing as this? <laughs> anyway, because you were silver. That is true. Wait, wait, maybe I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Possibly rotate and fake and anchor with a lurk and make them feel uneasy with mind games mental manipulation play numbers especially post plant unless you're in a 1v blank yeah sometimes i feel like this is a good one this was a really big one wow i'm really yelling at myself here turn away from flashes cross your higher higher i still need to learn from this expect them to be anywhere if you're lacking any information people play like rats and can be unpredictable i feel like this was true in silver because you know when your higher rank friends 
You know how like higher rank people when they play in lower ranks, they're like, oh my god, these silver people don't know what they're doing and it's making me play worse because I don't know what they're doing. I think it's true for lower ranks, but then when you're in higher ranks, it's kind of predictable what people are doing. So I guess this was fine for where I was. Remove information, remove enemy turns, trips. Okay, no shit. <laughs> no shit. Okay, page number two. Safe haven. Remove it so they have to worry about it or sh shift slash overcompensate for it. This removes pressure from certain parts of the map. Ex what? Oh, this is why I provided an example. <laughs> example. Icebox, chamber, trip, and kitchen. Break it and leave. It puts more pressure for the defending team to move someone to cover and watch kitchen from A site or mid. Loki, I still do this. I still do this. I'm like, can we break cypher chips and then leave? I was cooking. Pistol and knife is the same speed if you're running. I don't know if this is true. Okay. Anyway, we've done one fact check. That's not bad. We've been through one page out of, out of 12 and this is where we found the mistake. So that's not bad. Don't take close fights against egos. Pistol specters are stronger. That's a given. Listen for reloads. I don't really do that anymore, but I feel like I should. Make the most out of your util, don't just throw it out. I still do that sometimes, but it's okay. Make use of your teammates' util, ask them to use their util for you. Asking to for trips to play off of flashes. Dude, okay, I would do this more, but people in Valorant are sensitive. If you ask them to do anything, they'll either not listen to you because they're hard of hearing, or they just won't do it, or, or they'll do it horribly, or they'll yell at you for asking. Only plant when you have numbers or complete certainty of safety to plant. Example, 2v4, tap the bomb and take the fights with your teammate to even out numbers and then find a good time to plant. Or you can say, fuck it, we ball. Or don't plant and just kill all four. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Guys, this is why I'm washed. Anyway, what are the top things people commonly dislike about Reno players? Everything. Anyway, next page. We're on page three of 12. Positioning, don't always rely on the headshot angle. What? <laughs> Regardless of your team, try to commit to one angle. Be ready to take the engagement and try to stand still. Okay, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. And I, yeah, I don't know about this whole thing. <laughs> um, fuck my team, I'm gonna stand still. Yeah, don't, don't listen to that one. Even if they'll know where you are from the sound, if you take too long, they'll figure it out eventually. That is true. If you take too long to flank and then your whole team dies, they're like, oh, where's the last one? Of course they're flank. Info purposes on defense. You don't always have to peek for a kill. See how many there are or if they're there and then decide if you want to commit to a fight and how far you want to swing. Valid as fuck. Valid as fuck. If you're playing duelist, it's actually so important on, on defense. Types of swinging. Swinging on your mom. Anyway. Jump and shoulder peeking. Usually for info, easy to back off because you have cover for a wall. From a wall. Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Small swing. This swing is using that golden distance. Holy shit. Which is the amount of space you can move while running without making a sound. This is usually used to clear angles or isolate 1v1s. What the fuck is the golden distance? <laughs> Wide swing. Try to do this only if you are sure of their exact position. It only is one, maybe two people. The only time I would say it would be okay to do this is with more than one person you're swinging to is if you have a free ticket out, jet dash, chamber TP, rain E, not really free. Dude, two of these, these aren't even free. How many times have I died mid dash or like mid TP or like my fucking, the sound of my dismiss goes off and I'm still dead. Oh my god, comms. This is why my comms are so good, y'all. Okay. I used to- I have notes on comms. What the hell? Please calm what you are watching with your team! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. You don't need to be watching the same thing and they won't feel the need to keep watching what- where they're watching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Position yourself with a teammate and count down for double peak. Do this as often as you can. I have done this once. This is too much work. Just swing. <laughs> People can't listen anyway. <laughs> Learn off angles. Use map geometry to your advantage. Oh my fucking god. What what the Use map geometry to your advantage. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> On 1v1 defense and bomb is down, let the opponent make the move as they need to retrieve the bomb and plant. 
when they plant they're vulnerable or wait until they feel like it's safe enough to take the bomb and to take the fight catch them off guard play, playing with the objective the spike or you could just peek you can say fuck it we bomb better you were locked in in 2021 what happened i hit my peak and then i had no desire to keep going ego peak if you're feeling your shots take risks pussy <laughs> thanks man <laughs> wow what the fuck <laughs> i just didn't like can you believe i went from like sophisticated as although coaching does not accelerate your improvement to fucking take risks pussy okay okay this is the one you guys have been talking about this whole fucking time the sage tips are so good i don't right reina tips keep in mind where the dismiss and heal orbs are honestly low-key if you're a person that can only play reina read this shit i don't even know what's on here yet but so many Reynas play Reyna because they can't play any other agent and then they just don't do anything with Reyna even though like she's already so useless. Throw it to halt something <laughs> during what? Oh, throw my flash. Throw my flash, not throw your ass. I thought this meant like throw ass. <laughs> play with a big peen. Swing and use your ease time. Push the sage slow, chamber slow with E. Oh, 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 like when you're dismissing, go through the slows because they don't slow you. I worded this so bad. Use your E to entry, take space while being invulnerable can work really well if your team follows up. This is the biggest part that does not work 80% of the time. Because every time I'm the duelist, nobody goes in. But every time I have a duelist and I'm not the duelist, nobody goes in. Sage tips. Aim training. The whole point is for muscle memory. Oh, this was one of my coaches. 15 minutes of Kovacs, 15 minutes in the range, 50 elam. Try to get head taps only. Get it under 10 seconds. Under 50 seconds. Strafing and jiggling, peeking with a bot on the right and left. Hell no. Just run one DM. <laughs> Split. Oh my god. Split. I did, I did the maps. I think I prioritized Split because I was the worst at Split. Brim defense. A site if Cypher's on B, the smoker. Smoker not mid player become Molly tight. <laughs> How did I go from like full on sentences to A site if Cypher on B, smoker not mid player because Molly tight. <laughs> this was, this wasn't like me writing it all at once, by the way. This was like months, months of VOD review and like coach sessions. Duelists go mid because they can dash out. Dude, the duelists just go wherever they want to go. No one can control them. To be fair, after writing these sage notes, I'd be exhausted for like two years. Yeah. Yeah. If if push mid, clear sewers, then ramen. Wow. <laughs> no fucking way. If enemy front you, shoot. Wall mid, don't smoke. Brim wall OP. What the fuck was I smoking? Dude, none of these have to do with brim. I don't know why I put this under brim. Like, look at how, like, stupid my, my brim notes are. And then look at my Reyna tips. Are you... <laughs> Commit to first peak on ramps for info. Calm to rotate instantly. Don't walk for info, not necessarily for kills. What the hell? Don't do this. A is always hard push. A always hard push or none at all. One way entry way. Oh, yeah. Let me one way on Reyna. What? Don't waste time. Wow, thank you. Use it to get info. What the fuck is it? Don't waste E if you're free to go. No, this is valid. Especially because like this was back then when Reyna had four, I think. But now that she only has two, this is very valid. Attack. Cypher sits default. Don't blind right. Blind straight out. Why would I blind right? I don't even... I think this might have been for A. Yeah, I think this might been, have been for A. No, because like, if I flash right side, I'm flashing first sight. But honestly, I should be flashing straight ahead. That makes more sense. Unless I was just being stupid and I also did it for B. <laughs> Don't run away if it's easier to take the fight. I do this still, because I'm a pussy. One pick doesn't mean you need to commit. True! 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 Flash or jiggle the op. Don't dry peek. True! E out from garage to pillar on B. Don't do that. I'm on page seven now. Haven. C attack. Dude, I miss Haven. 
Reyna on attack. Prep for post plant. Wow. Thank you. Team already there. Commit pussy. Wow. Breeze. No, my breeze notes were actually like a little bit more thorough than my sage ones. Or maybe a lot more thorough. The last tip goes hard. I know. Really detailed. Dude, it's been almost two hours of me going through this. Ah! Push mid with someone too many places to hold and watch. This is true. Everybody that keeps jumping up on the pillar by themselves, y'all are throwing. That's all I'm saying. Like with no util, no help, you're gonna fucking just like... <sighs> Wall from B corner cross mid to cover most entrances. Yeah? What the hell is the screenshot? Were you drunk when you wrote these? Dude, low key? Maybe? Find! Five man is the best to play it or four group one lurk or showers too because it's so narrow for picks. This is stupid. Reyna attack. Dude, I was a Reyna player, but I wanted to- This is why my Reyna is good. Attack, showers, run to the boxes at TP with knife out, won't hear it and expect it. Dude, low key, this is- This is the move. This was pre-bind rework. This was actually the move. Oh wait, this was when I was getting roasted by my coach. Always take the off angle. You can alternate the way you use your blinds as in high or low. Never commit, over commit gunfights. You do this a lot. <laughs> if you don't kill in four bullets, just don't commit. <laughs> I still do that. Take your time and count down in your head if you doubt yourself. Dude, my brain cannot do that. That's too much. Try not to crouch as you spray, eliminate that habit. Okay, this should have said control my, my crouching. Like crouch purposefully instead of crouch panicking. If you use a vandal, do not spray top only. Nah, fucking we ball, spray that shit. Icebox, fucking hate this map. Waiting too long, try to entry onto top of test. Huh? Dude, this is progress. This dog is progressively getting worse and worse. Check corners on icebox. Okay, this should have just been check corners in general. Have someone entry for you and support you. Yeah, they're not doing that shit. Omen, dude. You know what I hate? I hate playing Omen on Ascent and then people are like, oh, can you, can you flash coast? Can you, can you blind? And then can you TP backside? And then I'm like hauling ass. And they're like, why did you go? Why did you put the smokes down so fast? And I'm like, dude, have you ever played Omen in your fucking life? I hate doing, I hate it when people are like that. I'm like, I'm. <laughs> backside ult on B. Am I just saying shit to say shit now? Like how to play Omen? Play Omen. Split. How to get radiant? This is not how to get radiant because I didn't get radiant. <laughs> can flash mid. Wow, no way. I can flash mid. Ascent. Do not go stairs for retake on B. Go lane. No, dude, you can go wherever. What the fuck was I cooking with this? Duka bot lineup. Don't forget it. Okay, now I can forget it because it doesn't matter anymore. Why did they make it shorter? Wait, that's it. We're done. I think I have one more dock. I feel like I have one more dock. But damn, that took me two fucking hours. I feel like I can hit Radiant now, thanks. No problem. Dude, this was crazy. Surely, now that I've read my coaching tips, I'll play better, right? I totally didn't forget everything that I just, uh, I just read.